Hi everyone, my name is Victoria Fernandez and welcome to my channel, I live to inspire mental health. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I post weekly videos about mental health and my experience with bipolar disorder. In this next video, I am going to talk about why family members or people close to somebody or that cares for somebody who has a mental illness should also get help. Now before we start, I do want to mention that I have made playlists for you guys to find the videos that I make in a way easier form um, and you can just click on the playlist and I have different ones such as my experience with Google, how my parents reacted to my bipolar diagnosis and anxiety and also my bipolar videos. So. With that, let's get started. I wanted to make this video because throughout my diagnosis, I have realized how important it is to have the, the right support, right? To have the, somebody who, um, or people who are capable of taking care of you, who understand you, which is why I believe it's very important for family members or people who care for somebody who has a mental illness and is there, you know, through every day, whether that is giving them medications or, you know, being there through a panic attack or through an episode, it is important for them to also find help, to also go to a psychologist. Because having a mental illness or living with somebody who has a mental illness can take a toll on you emotionally. That can be exhausting sometimes. I know it was really hard for my parents to take care of me sometimes whenever I was at my worst. It was emotionally draining because you're seeing somebody that you love and they're not doing great. And not only that, but mental illnesses a lot of times are hard to understand. When you haven't studied the field, when you're, when you're not going through it, it's really hard to understand what that person is going through. So by going and getting help, by going to a psychologist, you really get the chance to understand what is going on. What happens when a person has an episode? What do I do when that person has anxiety? Um, how do I feel? It's okay to not feel great. It's okay to have bad days and you don't have to feel bad because you are not going through something like you're not you don't have the mental illness you're still allowed to feel so whenever you go get help whenever you talk to a psychologist you get to understand all of that which makes this whole process a lot easier and it makes you more capable to help that person to set boundaries and to be happier and have a better well-being so some of the benefits that i see in that are obviously like Again, as I said, there's a huge stigma going around, you know, about mental illnesses and that has been built for such a long time and I think right now we're in a place in society where we're trying to change that, we're trying to make a difference, but that can be really hard, you know, so there's like the fear of the name, having a mental illness, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, like anything that goes beyond depression it's kind of scary or anything goes beyond anxiety can be scary and even those things can be scary for some people and sometimes those things can be dismissed um, as oh they're just being a teenager or they're just being like this but whenever you get help as somebody who cares for someone who has a mental illness you get to understand it in a deeper level you get to put yourself in their shoes and see okay I need to not judge them. And some of those things that you might do is that you just don't know how to care for somebody like that. If nobody in your family has ever been diagnosed with something, and then let's say your sister or your son, maybe your boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, anything, they're diagnosed. You're like, what do I do? How do I feel? What if I say the wrong thing? What if they have a panic attack and I don't know what to do or I don't know what to say? This is where getting that help is gonna be crucial. It's gonna be crucial for the well-being of both of you. Um, if you love that person, if you wanna be there for them, you can be there for them, but you also have to be there for yourself. So this psychologist or this therapist is going to help you sort all these things out. It's gonna help you figure out how to be better for them and how to be better for yourself. So what I mean is like, for example, there's a lot of fear that goes around a diagnosis. I know my parents struggled a lot with the word bipolar, um, but I've always talked about how that is just a name to certain symptoms. So when you go to therapy, you get to understand that. You get to talk about it. You get to talk about why you feel a certain way about mental illnesses. Why, like, you know, sometimes we judge and that's totally fine. Like, I don't know if you've ever met somebody who has ADHD, who has anxiety and you say they're overly sensitive or they're too hyper or they're too this or they're too that and society is quick to judge it's just you know putting labels on people and like blaming them for their symptoms which they can't really control especially if they don't know how to deal with them especially if they're not getting help so instead of judging getting help allows you to take a step back 
understand the symptoms, understand what you could be doing to trigger it, that person or what you could do to hold that person when they're f- feeling triggered or when they're having an episode. And it's going to be so much better because you're going to see that your actions, the way that you do things, the way that you care for the person are going to completely change your life and that person's life. You're going to be better equipped to be able to make them more stable, make them better, understand when they're about to have an episode, uh, which in turn can ultimately even save lives. Um, So that's one of the reasons I think it's crucial for people, for family members, for loved ones to get help as well. Because this isn't just hard on the person who has a mental illness. This is also hard on the person who's taking care of them. And when there is no understanding in between, when it's just like, you know, I'm feeling like this, and then the other person's like, you don't really understand what's going on, so you might dismiss it, then that's not going to help anybody. You're going to feel frustrated. The other person's going to feel isolated. So the best way to do this is by getting help. And also, when you're getting help, you're allowed to feel less guilty you're allowed to understand okay this person is doing this because of this it isn't my fault that they're having an episode but i can do things to make them feel better um ultimately like i said before that's going to be something that's going to benefit you and that person your relationship and your life overall and that's going to help in speeding the process for that person to become more stable um and i mean going to a therapist is good for anybody i i always think that you know that's such like we all have some stuff that we've gone through you know whether a lot of people have anxiety or stress or whatever and having a therapist is the best thing ever because you get to talk to them and they don't judge you they just have tips for you ways to feel better um they also help you understand why certain things happen like mental illnesses a lot of times can be triggered by our environments it's not just genetics but it's also the things that we've experienced in life so if you're close to that person if you've lived with them since they were young then you're going to be able to better understand what specific phases in their lives affected them and that might bring you much closer because it's just it's just going to build a higher level of understanding and it's just going to deepen the relationship and allow you to help them even more so I wanted to make this quick video about this because I do believe it is so important and I've been asked, you know, how am I, how can I be a friend to somebody who has a mental illness? How can I help? Them? And I think that sometimes before helping others, you have to understand yourself and how much you can give um, and also have like this psychological understanding of what they're going through. So you can put yourself in their shoes and have like a higher amount of patience, a higher amount of understanding, and a better way of taking care of them. So, if you like this video, please, 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 please subscribe, like, comment, share with somebody who you believe should watch this video, and always remember that there's a lot of the other tunnel, and a bad day does not mean a bad life.